Hello everyone, I'm Havoc and this is Factorio Space Exploration. We are back at it again in another video. So last time we had talked about um, coming up with a set of blueprints in order to take core samples and make rockets and fuel and I'm, <laughs> I'm lost here. Hold on. Here we go. So uh, this is my current setup for processing them and getting the resources out but I should really from this point forward from alright these are the resources we get and we can actually calculate exactly what we get <clears throat> doing this and so now we can see I want, uh, yeah per second uh, so we get some different numbers for different items per second and we can come up with ways to deal with these items uh, and really, we need to know what we're going to need per rocket. So we are going to have to look at cargo rocket sections, and they are somewhere <laughs> right here. Manufacturing tab. Cargo rocket sections. Now, beryllium we don't have yet. And there's no guarantee we'll have that on every planet. So that's not going to be our main recipe. This recipe is what we're going to be looking at right here. So uh, let's see. Heat shielding, low density structures, rocket control units, cargo pods, and rocket fuel tanks. And you can see the total raw right there. It tells you exactly what it takes raw. And you look at 34 stone bricks, 60 glass... 100 iron plate, 188 copper plate, 40 steel, 92 plastic, 32 sulfur, 4 blue circuits, and 20 batteries. So, that is interesting. So, if it takes, what, 5 iron plates to make steel... Then if we go back to manufacturing and look at this, the 40 steel is actually 200 iron plates. So that means you need 300 iron plates and 188 copper plates. Hmm. Oh, I'm looking. At, yeah, this is roughly the same. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be interesting. And this says 10 minutes to craft. Uh, total raw. Alright. It doesn't have to be fast, really. Because it's going to be running in the background. But what we need to figure out is working from top to bottom. We need to grab, say, one item. Say the rocket fuel tank and work from top to bottom. So from the rocket fuel tank that I need, what do I need going back? Let's drop down a light. I know it can get dark on YouTube. I have the Afraid of the Dark. Uh, not on this one, that's why it is on this one. Oh man, look how much brighter it is. And I don't need to be using my uh, thruster suit with life support on the planet anyways. So, let's come in here. We're going to drop this down, and I want you to say rocket fuel tanks, which are right here. Let's take pumps, storage tanks, pipes, and advanced circuits. And it takes one tank, one pump, two advanced circuits, two pipes. <clears throat> and so, if we come down here, and I'm going to say pumps which are, um, no, that's the offshore pump. I'm getting the wrong pump here. This pump, which is not an offshore pump, it takes pipe, steel, electric motors. Here we're going to need, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to need the tank, which is here, and that just takes some iron plate and steel. pipes and then red circuits. Well, we need pipes for this also. 
I'll place this down. I'm going to say pipes. That just takes iron. And then red circuits. So we're going to need a small build to make red circuits, which honestly, if we go back and look at the cargo rocket section, it also requires rocket control units, and rocket control units require reds and blues and the batteries, the glass and the iron. <clears throat> so, figuring this out is going to be interesting. <laughs> I will need greens, reds, and blues, which is going to require sulfur, sulfuric acid, plastic, copper, and stone. All those we do get from that, but I need to know exactly how many go into that process and how many of those resources need to tra transfer past this. Tra uh, excuse me, pass being turns into circuits. Really nothing else here. Let's see. This requires copper. The electric motors. So if I drop that down and say electric motor. It's just a motor and some copper coils. We're going down the rabbit hole. Ladies and gentlemen. That requires gears. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to rip all this up in here in just a second, but uh, that, that will go into that to make those. We're going to need the uh, copper cables in order to make the electric motors, in order to make reds, red circuits. Okay, so. <laughs> and we're going to need steel and... Oh, we're auto-saving. <laughs> of course. That's all right. So we're going to need steel and iron plate for both of these in combination with the electric motors. Now... I am not going to be able to run these at max speed off of what I get I don't believe at least so let's just look at this wrong button because this is only one component of the system inputs per second I'm gonna need a significant amount of copper per second Iron per second is really crazy. I mean, if you just look at this right here, this is already 18 iron per second for just this item. And what did we say that we were getting in iron per second from this build up here? 21.3 iron per second. Yep, so just making the rocket fuel tanks at at speed is going to require most of the iron so it, it's not gonna be able to run at full speed so what I can probably do is come up with a blueprint that doesn't really have a big buffer of these items so the question here is how much do rocket fuel tanks stack to and we are Producing rocket fuel tanks right up here. Let's, let's run up here and grab a few in our pocket and see what they stack to. So I can understand what the buffer size might look like. Stand on here. Alright, so it looks like, okay, 10. So 10 is the maximum size. Now I don't actually want to, to hold on to these, so we will dump them where they can be utilized. Okay. So they're going to stack up to 10. And what I'm thinking is I probably want to have the assembly machine for each of the parts to make the... 
capsule itself, excuse me, the cargo rocket section feed directly into, and that will negate any kind of buffer or buildup of one, because if I'm building as many of the fuel tanks as I can per second, it will slow down, say, the protection, the production of the cargo rocket pods or the rocket control units. So I don't want to have a big buffer of a few hundred or even, you know, a thousand or even a few hundred of any one. I don't want to buffer really at all. I want it to direct transfer into what will make this for these products. And that's going to be interesting. I'm just looking around here because I also have to access I've got to put four different items. I mean, I can put because speed is not going to be a determining factor here. I can put all of the inputs on a couple of belts here because I know it says four inputs. And since it has four inputs, I can do two inputs and two inputs. So I'm not too worried about running out of uh, space. Uh, let's probably do this one next. This one has four inputs. I'm just getting a rough idea right now. I'm not doing numbers or ratios or anything crazy. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out what it would look like in the end and then I need room to take out of this. This is going to be say the rocket control unit. This one has several different items. So I probably want to keep it somewhere where I can access multiple sides. The heat shielding and then the low density structure are going to go as such. Four inputs, three inputs and a lot of these inputs are shared. So right here we've got steel, we've got steel being shared there, steel being shared down here. So I can probably bring steel in and then separate it onto split belts for these other items when we get a little closer here. And then I'm going to want a buffer of these. So from here going out, you would absolutely want a buffer of the cargo rockets because I want to get those built up. So I say I'm only want launching a rocket every 15 minutes or, or whatever. In the meantime, if I'm able to make cargo rocket sections faster than that, so let's see. Hold on, let's do the math before I get too excited, a little ahead of myself. If, if we are able to supply this at max speed, which I don't think we're going to be able to, it'll take 30 seconds to make one. And it takes 100 of these. Right? We'd, if I remember correctly, I did a video a while back where I was putting cargo rocket sections in to see what the percent it gave was. So, such as right here, Z zero of 100, and if I throw one in, where'd it go? There it is. It's one. Okay, yes, so you need 100 of these. <laughs> and if it takes 30 seconds times 100, that's 3,000 seconds. Oh boy. Yeah. What was I saying? A rocket every 15 minutes? Yeah, right. All right. So <laughs> if we're making cargo rocket, <laughs> if we're making our rockets from core mining, it's not going to be every 15 minutes. It is going to be significantly longer than that unless I can get uh, mining productivity much higher and expand um, my output. In fact, on that train of thought before I forget to continue mining productivity I just need to set back up rocket science packs and I could do that oh but I can only get one more level and then I have to get into bio biological science packs and then the next step of Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Biological space packs? What does that have to do with mining? Biology and mining? Why is it not material space packs? More biology. More bi biology science packs, four. And then deep space, deep space science. 
to understand mining on a planet better? What? 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 <laughs> this. This just, this just seems strange. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. That goes back to using biological science pack one. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know if that was intended or not, <laughs> but from here, you're using biological science packs four and the deep space science packs one, and then it jumps to deep space science pack two, but goes back down to biological science pack one. I am fairly certain that was not intended and is probably just a, uh, a an issue with the version of the mod that I'm using right now, or some uh, maybe my configuration. Uh, which is interesting, but uh, at this point I have so many mods, I'm terrified to update the game <laughs> and try and update all the different mods. I've sunk so many hours into this playthrough, and I really am not done with it yet, and I'm terrified to update anything. So, if that's the case and we get to that point, we'll just roll with it. If it actually does use uh, the reduced science packs, we'll just use the cheaper ones, and we're going to roll with it. But back to what we were doing here. I got I got down a rabbit hole, and getting more mining productivity is a much bigger goal than a simple simple setup. So we will focus more so on just getting this going, and then letting it run passively. Because here's the thing too. Now that I'm remembering this, if I'm sending a rocket there, so if I have to send anything to the planet, then I'm going to have sections of the rocket that are salvaged, and those sections that are salvaged, which I can increase parts recovered from a successful landing right here. I just need to get into astronomic science packs. And I don't think that one is as big of a uh, hurdle as getting into all the other things. I don't really, I mean, I'm just guesstimating to be honest with you because I haven't got into it yet. But we are already getting a certain percentage which is 20% plus 4% per level of this. And I have, what, two levels already because this is the third. So I'm getting, what, 28% of my rocket back. So I'm getting 28 cargo rocket sections from a successful landing back, which means I only need to make the remaining, was it 72? Uh, so that'll that'll burn some of that time down. And I will absolutely have to send rockets out there. So say... Uh, hypothetically, we talk about Forge Hammer. Forge Hammer, I'm trying to get Iridite from. And I don't want to bring Iridite ore or anything less than. Let's see. The ingots. Probably even the plate. Because I don't think. Uh, how I look? I don't remember the controls for FNEI here. Hold on. Erudite. The ingot is only used to make delivery, like to shoot it somewhere, which that's not how I'm moving things, or to make the plate. And then the plate makes everything else. So hopefully the plate is uh, a better stacking, like stacks higher uh, per slot that it takes, and then I just process all the way down to the plate. However, to get to this uh, point anyways, we have to process the iridium powder. And the iridium powder takes these goofy things, which takes cryonite, and cryonite is not on Forge Hammer, if I remember correctly. If I look at Forge Hammer, nope. So, I will have to probably make the beads themselves these and then ship these via rocket there which means I'll be sending these which is rockets incoming to forge hammer those rockets will have salvaged cargo rocket sections which I can then pump right back into building a rocket that will turn around and send my erudite say to probably to space honestly i don't need to send it here to the planet side because i'm not going to be using it here i'll be using it in space so i will need to get it sent straight there so that's not going to be as big of a problem 
we'll be getting, and depending on how many of those, it may end up being that I have to send more than one rocket to Forge Hammer in order to get one rocket full of the Iridite out. And if that's the case, then this is a lot less necessary. It's still going to be necessary to get some, and the fuel that I'm going to need out of this. Oh man, the more I'm thinking about it, it's just crazy. <laughs> Oh, this is not going to be a quick setup. However, once I get this, once I get a blueprint designed, I will be able to slap it on all kinds of planets when I go there and just say, all right, if I feed, if I core mine here and feed this stuff in, I get rockets back and just boom, bring the resources and bring it. So let's do the, let's do the front loaded work here. Let's figure some stuff out. And again, if y'all have a good blueprint or a good idea for this or want to say hash it out, again, I put the link to my Discord uh, down below this video, uh, just like I did the prior video, and we can, you know, talk on my Discord channel, and maybe y'all can help me come up with something, because I'm only one man, and I am no Einstein, I promise you that. <laughs> I try and put some good thought into things, but I'm not a genius, and I am open to suggestions from you all. So let's see here. I think if we line up the chain of everything that it's going to take, we will get a good idea of how to distribute the resources in between. And also, if I try and limit as many buffers as possible, then I don't have to worry about having exact ratios. I can worry more so, man, that northern wall constantly. They're damaging things. I mean, I have bots, you can see, <laughs> dry driving flying along this line here where I have robo ports going all the way up there and here comes another attack it's never ending this is why I want to wipe the planet clear of these things they're an annoyance I mean that did hardly anything but some of the bigger attacks they were coming in here they were spitting all this they were damaging things they've destroyed these um, flamethrower turrets on several occasions and I had to rebuild I've had to rebuild those and, and send them back up there it's a constant drain on my resources to deal with all of those problems so this needs to have circuits included in it so let's throw down blues reds and greens now obviously you need more blues being produced to make the greens and the blues or excuse me, more greens in order to make the reds and the blues so this is not exactly a, a perfect ratio i just want to get some machines down that way i can drag over and look at this right here oh boy yeah so we're again that's just increasing the amount of resources we're using here. Oh, and now also, because I have all of the different resources to go into this, I'm seeing everything over here that I'm going to need. Which is probably the better way to do this anyways. Max rate calculator, you're such a wonderful mod. Okay. So, in order to make this... I'm going to have reds already produced, steel already produced. I need fast inserters and chest. Iron chest, to be exact. Let's throw those down. Iron chest and fast inserter. Each of these is going to take inserters. Inserters require some of those motors. And burners. Oh man, I forgot because AAI. It's been so long since I've actually invested myself in to the early crafting, thanks to wonderful automation. Let's see, I needed iron sticks. That's here. Okay, and then I already have that one there. My goodness, this will not be a simple setup to get going, and that's okay. If I look at this, 
just this. Nope. That was not right. Is it this? Yay, auto saves. Has it been 15 minutes already? <laughs> and we're through. Du -du 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 -du. Nope. I'm trying to figure out is there an easier way to discover the ratios? If I just look at the total raw here, I can see, I do know that I'll need 40 steel and 100 iron. And 40 steel equals 200 iron plates, so that's 300 iron plates, and two thirds of that is turned into steel. And then I can also look and see, so two thirds of it becomes steel. For my stone, I need to make glass and I need to make stone bricks. I need 34 stone bricks and stone bricks require two stone and then the glass. The glass is where it gets tricky because there are multiple recipes for sand. If I use mechanical facilities, pulverizers, is what I'll be using planet side. It produces three sand from one stone and that four sand makes one glass. Ouch. So I need one one and one third stone to make glass. And if we roll back over here, so 60 glass equals 80 stone. So I need 80 stone for that and I need 68 stone for the stone brick. So that gives me a ratio there. It might be easier to simply come up with good balanced ratios from this total raw here and then use that to start from my smelting factories and just run lines up. I think that might be how we have to figure this out and that is all right. We can do that. However, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys have any comments, feel free to slap them down there in the comment section underneath this video with uh, any kind of advice, <laughs> any suggestions, anything like that. If you thought I did something crazy, you know, holler at me, say something down there. And uh, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit the like button. And if you can, if you have enjoyed my content and want to see more like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all next time.